Welcome to the Rochester Midland How-To Hub. In this series, we will cover the complete installation process for a Sanar Mark V unit on a toilet. What personal protective equipment is required to install a Sanar Mark V unit? Prior to entering a job site, you will need a pair of safety goggles, reusable or disposable chemical-resistant gloves, and steel-toe boots. These items are essential for keeping you safe throughout this procedure. What tools will you need to install a Sanar Mark V unit? To complete this process, you will need a drill and a 3 16 inch drill bit, screwdriver, needle nose pliers, tube cutter, tube bender, a deburring tool, a small measuring tape, and a pointed marker. What parts will you need to install a Sanar Mark V unit? To complete this process, you will need the Sanar Mark V unit consisting of the Sanar cover, tray, bottle, cap, backing plate, J-tube, micro nut, ratchet stud, wick, tube clips, wall plugs, screws, plastic or stainless steel tube, and of course, the Sanar Concentrate Solution. Step 1. Once you have ensured there is no one using the washroom, secure your magnetized sign to the door frame and prop open the door using a doorstop. If you don't have one, here is a great tip from our service expert, Jim. Hey reps, our uh, tip of the day is if you don't have a doorstop to keep the door open, you can use a screwdriver like this. Put it in the door, wedge it under there, and it'll hold your door closed. However, if the gap is too big, where the screwdriver will keep on sliding, what you can do is use two screwdrivers. Place one there and one there, like that, and it'll take care of a larger gap. This step will ensure that no one may enter the washroom, allowing you the time required to complete your service or installation. Step 2. Determine the install location. When identifying the install location, make sure there is about 2 inches on the sides and 6 inches on the bottom. For ADA compliance, if there is a handicap grab bar, maintain a 12 inch gap above it. Maintain 5 inches above so the Sanar cover can fully open. Step 3. Bend the tube to accommodate the fixture. Measure, mark, and bend the tube to snugly fit the toilet and wall as shown. Try to use the full length of the tube. This eliminates cutting and deburring steps. This also simplifies the process when replacing a tube in the future. The ideal position for the unit is around nose level. Ensure there is at least 5 inches above the plumbing flush valve to allow for future maintenance. Step 4. Cut the tube and insert the ratchet stud. Once the tube is cut to the required length, use your deburring tool by rotating it in a circular fashion on the interior diameter of the tube. Do this until the tool rotates smoothly and then in the other direction until the same smoothness is achieved. This is required only if you cut the tube to size. Now you can push in the barbed end of the ratchet stud into the tube. You may use the flat part of the tube bender as a hammer to gently tap the ratchet stud into place. Step 5. Measure and drill your holes. Clip the backing plate to the ratchet stud and make sure they are straight. Drill a small hole or use a marker to mark the drill spot. If there is a grout line that doesn't align, you may drill an additional hole in the backing plate to accommodate. 
you may now proceed to complete the drilling of the holes. Step 6. Fasten the backing plate and the tube. Use the needle nose pliers to remove the plastic tape at the bottom of the backing plate. Insert the wall plugs into the holes. Fasten the backing plate and the tube. Step 7. Prepare the wick assembly. Install the micro nut by rotating it halfway up the threaded area on the J-tube. Now insert the wick into the J-tube from the threaded end first. This ensures any leftover residue within the J-tube won't impede proper flow through the wick. Push and pull the wick until 1 16th inch to 1 8th inch of the wick is exposed beyond the threaded side of the J-tube. If the wick is too long, the fluid will run too quickly. And if it is too short, it will run too slow. Pay attention to how the wick feels when you are pulling it through. It must move freely, but not slip and slide too easily. If it is too thick, simply use another wick. Step 8. Install the tray. Install the tray to the backing plate by tilting up the front of the tray first and then insert the back of the tray under the two upper retaining tabs. The back side of the tray with the cutout is for the ratchet stud and tubing. Level out the tray and lower it down to engage the two lower retaining tabs. Step 9. Install the wick assembly. Place the wick assembly with the threaded end in the top hole of the ratchet stud. Now position the wick to rest in the front of the Sanar tray. It is important that the wick is never placed at the back of the tray. This may lead to Sanor leaking down the customer's wall if it comes in contact with the backing plate. Step 10. Fill the Sanor bottle. Pour two ounces of Sanor concentrate into the bottle. You can measure by referencing the first line marked above the bottom of the bottle. Now fill the remainder of the bottle with water and fasten the Sanor bottle cap until the two nibs lock into the slots in the cap. Once secure, make sure to wipe the bottle dry with a paper towel or rag. Step 11. Insert the bottle. Insert the bottle with the plunger cap facing down and the tapered side of the bottle facing outwards. Make sure you put the bottle the correct way, otherwise the lid won't close properly and you will have a hard time getting it out. If this happens, push the top, pull straight up and it should pop out. When inserting the bottle, do not let the plunger touch the back plate, as that will spill unnecessary liquid. Rather, let it sit directly into the tray as shown. Step 12. Attach the cover. Before installing the cover, double check that you remove the tape covering the locking mechanism, or else you will break the lock. To attach the center cover, first set one of the two nibs inside the cover into one slot in the arms that extend from the backing plate. Then slowly stretch the center cover to ease the other nib into the slot on the other arm. Now press the cover down to lock. Step 13. Complete a final inspection. Inspect the total assembly to make sure that nothing is leaking and everything is tight. Be sure to clean off any drilling dust or spilled liquid on the fixtures and plumbing. Congrats! You have fully completed the install of a Sanar Mark V unit. Happy servicing!